Hey, what up guys? And in this one, I'm going to the course at Wente Vineyards. This is a course that's in Livermore, California. Uh, it was a great track, very interesting, a lot of cool holes, but it was very windy. Uh, I played pretty good today. Um, so let's go out to the course and see how I did. All right, hole number one is an awesome downhill into this valley type of drive. As you can see, the drive goes to pretty decent length. Um, and so I have a short iron into the green. And this is probably where my game is struggling the most is these, you know, it's what should be easy shots into the green. So I'm chipping to get up and down to save my par and actually chip it very close to the hole. And uh, another thing I need to work on are these short putts. So as you can see, lip this one out, start off with the bogey one over. All right, next up, I just hit two iron into the short par four uh, to put myself into perfect position to get on the green and try to get it close. So on my approach, I actually end up duffing my chip and probably ending up in the worst position possible, which is in the trap. So here's my sand shot attempt, and it doesn't go that great. I ended up not getting onto the green. So I just need to get up and down here thinking, just want to get bogey at this point. So end up hitting close enough to where I just tap it in, but kind of frustrating after that great position after the tee. All right, next up is a short par three, and I just don't want to be short to avoid all of those bunkers that are in the front. So I end up hitting it a little longer than anticipated, but hey, I'm on the green and I'm putting for birdie. So here's my attempt. Never had a chance, I was on the low side. Here's my short putt for par, and the short putt woes continue. Unfortunately, I made bogey there. So bogey, 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 just some small costly errors. Next up is a short par four. However, I took my driver because this was into the wind. Normally, if it's lower than 350, I take on my two iron. Uh, next up, because of the wind, I hit my gap wedge a little shorter than anticipated. So I have quite a long putt from off the green for my birdie. So here, I'm just thinking two putt uh, all day. Just get it close enough to where I can roll the next one in. And as you can see, finally, the putting yips don't get me here. And I get my first par of the day. Next hole is actually uh, with the wind, so I end up hitting a pretty decent drive here, and it's a short par five. So uh, I actually had an iron into uh, the green for my second shot. Uh, didn't quite take enough club and hit it clean enough. I thought I had it, but ends up being just a tad short. Um, but no complaints here, chipping on to get it close to get my birdie. So here's the chip on. Not the best, but not the worst um, for being that close and just barely sneak this one in for birdie. So I'm two over now, not bad. All right, for this next hole, I had no business taking driver here, but I thought with the wind, I wouldn't get close to the dangerous part of the fairway. Um, I hit it up to the fairway where there's only like 15 yards across here. So as you can see, uh, playing it pretty risky there. Uh, end up chipping it on and I had a blind shot, so I had no idea where it landed, but this is my attempt for birdie. And unfortunately, just, yeah, died off into the right. Didn't give it enough speed, and so tap and par. I'll take the easy part any day, though. So if you played Wente before, you know that there's a lot of elevation change, and this is no exception. This is a longer par 3, uh, but I didn't really know how to play the distance, so I'm just glad that I kind of played it safe and short to the right. Uh, and so I had this chip for my up and down. As you can see, not a terrible chip, and it ends up being pretty close to where I can just put it in and save my par. So two over still through this far, pretty happy. Next up, oh, this is just like a weird drop kick drive. Just came out of nowhere and now I have a lot of work to make up just to try to save what I would think would be a good bogey hole. Fortunately, I hit a really strong three wood here. Um, and so I was actually in a position since it wasn't the longest of par fives to get onto the green with an easy club. So I ended up taking my five iron here uh, it hit it a little bit strong and a little bit to the right of my intended target. However, um, I'm just putting from off the green here. And as you can see, not terrible. So yeah, it keeps rolling up there, keeps rolling up there, and not bad. So here's my save for the up and down, and I get par. So two over thus far. All right, next up is a pretty straightforward par four. However, there's so many balls on that right-hand brown hill, it was crazy. Like, there's like thousands of balls, I bet, up there. And you can't go in there to get your ball, so it's just funny to see. Uh, next up was this pretty poor attempt at my shot into the green. I left it pretty short. I thought I hit it pretty good, but yeah, it just ended up way short for some reason. So here's my chip. 
and I'm just trying to get up and down here. Uh, and unfortunately, the chip went past the hole, and I knew it was pretty bad because I have a downhiller coming back. And yeah, I just, you know, tried to put a good putt on it, but unfortunately, ended up getting bogey here. Moving on to the next hole. All right, so for this hole, it's pretty tricky here. Don't need to play a long shot. And fortunately, my ball ended up short of the, you know, ravine. Um, so here is my second shot onto the green. I was in the dirt, but I was able to get a pretty good handle on the ball. And I got into the green regulation. And here's my birdie putt. And yeah, I blasted it by. I don't know what came over me on that one, but yeah, not a great putt. But fortunately, I was able to make the return putt. So long par, but no one's going to know how I got it. Up another big elevation change, par 3. And I am blading the crap out of it. And it goes over the green. And check on my lie into the green. It's right there. Um, LOL. All right, for this one, I just wanted to hit it out and make sure I'm not short and stuck in the rough again. So I hit it pretty strong, but at least I'm out and I have a shot now onto the green. Uh, I end up taking a pretty bad putt here. I should have took a little bit more time in it, zooming it by. So now I'm not lying too great just to make uh, my bogey here. And yeah. Yeah, did not make the bogey as well, so I end up getting double bogey here uh, and taking my medicine. Next up is a super windy par 5, and unfortunately I drop kicked this driver into the left hand sand trap. And you know, I just trying to get it out here, didn't make a good strike on it, so it was pretty much a layup. And now I have a really tough windy 3 wood into the green. So end up hitting it over this tree, and luckily getting into the sand trap on the right side of the green. I thought I almost lost my ball end up hitting up onto the green and here's my attempt to save par and yeah left it pretty short so another bogey uh, onto the next hole once again another big elevation change uh, par four this time just took out the two iron to put myself into position uh, to get onto the green and the next shot and up pulling this one to the left uh, and so what you'll see is me you know setting up my camera um, over the green but yeah it falls over and I just end up chipping and I chipped over the green. Check out my lie. We gotta get a close up of the ball. Getting close up. Great. That's uh. Where am I, Lori? So pretty much after that miraculous par, I gotta say, lucky is better than good sometimes. Uh, this one, another elevation change par three, end up being short and onto the left. So here's my chip onto it and hit it okay, hit it a little past the hole, but I didn't want to be short. I just want to get onto the putting surface and, and you know, try to save my up and down par here. So here's my attempt. Yeah, and I just I hadn't been giving the putts enough juice to get it to the hole and give myself a chance to actually make it. Next up, not the longest of par fives, and I hit a pretty good drive here, so I set myself up to, you know, just go at it pretty hard on my second shot. Take out three wood here, hit it pretty decent, flared it a little bit to the right, but now I have a good shot into the green where I can try to get it close and try to make my birdie. So here's my chip, get it up there, and end up being in, not in the worst of positions here. So here it is, my birdie putt. Yeah, and just unfortunately just didn't give it a good line. So uh, easy par, uh, can't complain about pars. On to the next one. So at this point, I know I'm on 70 watch, but unfortunately what I didn't know is that these flat three finishing holes with wind are actually pretty tough. Uh, so this one I end up taking a three wood and making sure that I'm playing position golf and I'm set up well to get to the green. Uh, I hit this one a little thin, uh, but ends up landing a little short, but rolls up onto the green. So I have a super long putt. I just need to make a two putt here to preserve my, you know, 70 attempt. So here's my first putt and I hit a really good one. Uh, so it's instilling confidence in my putting with this two ball and my decision to forego my custom putter Edel. And then I do that. So at this point, I'm just a little frustrated. Uh, now I'm that at eight over and 70 isn't super on the table. I'm trying to make a birdie here. So next up, hit a pretty good drive on this uh, 17th par four and, uh, you know, hit it in the middle of the fairway. So I'm thinking, OK, I have a chance. Just need to make a birdie here. Next up, hit my shot. Uh, to the green but it ends up being a little bit left of my target so I have to chip on so I'm just thinking okay up and down 
and let's try to get a birdie maybe on the last hole. So here's my chip. Ends up coming pretty decent actually. Uh, rolls out a little further than anticipated, but at least I'm putting at it. And unfortunately, yeah. So at this point, uh, you know, nine over, 70 well out of reach for me. And I'm just here to finish strong. So uh, this one has two fairways. There's a left fairway and a right fairway. And um, this one, you know, I just end up flaring it out a little bit to the right. So I'm on the right fairway. But this is a scary shot over the water. So I end up taking an extra club and making sure that I can get over it. I think I end up chunking it just tad. So I'm short. And as you can see, I have just a chip into it. And then I leave it a little bit to the left and more than I'd like. So here's my putt for par. And yeah, as you can see, putting was just so-so today. So end up getting another bogey and uh, getting 10 over and shooting 82. All right, as you can see, uh, was on 70 watch for a little bit there, but I didn't realize that the final holes uh, were gonna be so difficult into the wind. As you can see, I got a little bit frustrated because I kind of knew that 70 was in play. Um, but you know what? Uh, that's how it goes. I really enjoyed the course. It was in pretty good shape. Some of the greens I think were damaged, um, so it was unfortunate, but I think they'll get those back sooner than later. Um, but yeah, first time at Wente, and it was a good one. So hope you guys enjoyed that. More to come, and I'll see you in the next one.